Hi, this is Novel Professor. In my previous video, I showed you how you can install the Delight custom firmware on your Nokia E7 device using a flashing software that works on modern versions of Windows. And when you install this firmware, you automatically get the latest Symbian operating system which is the Symbian Bell Refresh Edition, as you can see here in the phone management about settings that the Delight firmware is based on Nokia Bell Refresh Edition. So automatically after you install the firmware, you get the latest version of Symbian operating system. And in addition to that, this firmware comes with a lot of patches, and tools that enable performance optimizations and enable new features and basically make your phone a lot more usable in 2025. So now this firmware also comes with a browser which is called the proxy browser. So this browser allows you to browse modern websites by using a proxy server that will bypass the PLS 1.2 and basically send the unencrypted traffic to the proxy and proxy will call the actual server using TLS 1.2 and then return you the unencrypted traffic to the browser. So you will be able to bypass the TLS requirement and browse modern websites. But basically, this has some drawbacks. First of all, your traffic is not secure. You are sending all your data to this proxy server, which is hosted in Russia. Now, when you want to use that, the username is user, like this. And then the password is Mobi, M-O-B-I. So like this, you can connect to the proxy server. And then you have to enter your website, which you want to browse inside their address bar. So I will put cnet.com as an example of a website that uses HTTPS. So all the requests will be routed through that proxy. And basically, once a page is rendered, it will automatically inject its own address bar inside the web page. So as you can see, the web page is loaded, but it will be slower. And also, when you click on any link, again, it will go through the proxy. And whenever you want to browse any other site, again, you have to enter it in their toolbar. So as you can see, the site has been loaded. But if you try to load this on a normal browser, if you open a normal web browser, and then you try to load this site, cnet.com, it will not open because it tries to redirect to HTTPS and then HTTPS uses TLS 1.2, which is not supported. So it will say browser unable to connect to website because of the security reason. So now I will tell you how you can install additional patches that will enable TLS 1.2 on this device and you will be able to use modern websites. So first, you need to download the patches. For that, you need to head over to nnproject.cc. This is the website, nnproject.cc. And in this website, if you scroll down, you will find a link for TLS 1.2 support, patch for enabling TLS with embed TLS. So click on this link. And then you can see it says a patch for Symbian 9.1 plus that enables TLS 1.2, 1.3 uh, on system level. 
So Symbian 9.1 means uh, S60 third edition. So basically it supports uh, all the phones from uh, S60 third edition onwards. Uh, that means S65 uh, edition, Symbian 3, Symbian Anna, and Symbian Bell. And so if you scroll down, what you need to do, first of all, open for all patch is required. So as you know, I'm already using a hacked phone, which has all the required patches installed. And I can copy any file to the system protected folders. And all the tools like Explore are already installed. So you can do this on a hacked phone, not on a normal phone, because you will not have access to the system folders. So make sure your device is already hacked. And then it says supports S63 edition up to Bell feature pack 2. That means all the phones, as I mentioned. So first thing what you need to do is uh, if your operating system is 9.1 to 9.4, you need to install this PIPs also. But since my operating system is 9.5, I don't need to install this one. So I'll skip number one and go to number two, which is install embed tls.sys. So let's install this embed. this one embed tls library so click on this it will download the embed sys file into the e download folder okay so it is downloaded i will click okay to install installation is completed hide this one and now I will need to download this system SSL patch. Download this one. So this one is a zip file. It will be downloaded to the download folder on E drive. Okay. So it is downloaded. But what I need to do is I need to, as it says in the instructions, that extract the content of ssl.zip to C drive root with explore. So let me go to the uh, explore, which is in tools. Go to explore. And basically on my E drive, where this is downloaded, This SSL.zip. Copy the system folder. File. Extract to. And then in the extract to, what I need to do is, I need to select C drive and press enter. Okay, so this error is coming because we don't have permission to copy any file to the C drive and in the system folder. So I know why this error is coming, let me tell you. So if you go back to the website, okay, here they have mentioned this point that open for all patch is required. So we need to enable this open for all patch in the ROM patcher. So let's go to the tools and go to ROM patcher. And here you need to search for open for all, OP open for all. And just click on this. This will enable this patch. And now we can copy the files. So let's go back to our explore. Okay, now if we do the same action, menu, file, extract to, and then let's select the C drive, C drive root folder, press enter. And now you can see the file copy is successful. And we can verify that by going back, going to the C drive, open the C drive, go to the sys folder, 
go to the bin folder and here you will see a file called ssl.dll see the ssl.dll file and see the path it should be inside c sysbin ssl.dll so now this file has been copied successfully so now if we go back to our normal browser now if we try to browse the same website cnet.com and you'll see that now it will be successfully connected to https and now the site will load properly without using any proxy and it will be faster than the proxy browser and now you can see you can use any modern https website that uses tls 1.2 and now your phone is able to browse these modern websites so thanks a lot for watching the video if you have any questions or comments or you want me to make any other videos about installing any other patches please let me know in the comments thanks for watching